Any better this morning? Sorry, I came in late. I didn't want to wake you up. Were you at the cemetery? I'm here now. You know, I do have a little experience in fathers slash monsters. What's your plan for the day? There's life past this. I'll help you find it. I promise. Yeah? Yeah. Do I get to say I told you so? You kids have fun. Behave yourselves. I will see you. Mm. Bye. Bye. You know, I should have bet on you two. I'd have won a fortune. And I would have paid you half of it. You saved her life. Oh, God, it must have been hell. Thank God you're safe. I am glad to be home. We heard about what happened in Vegas. Can I just stay in Vegas? How are you really holding up? I'm numb. Relieved. Relieved it's over. Well, he can't hurt us again. We both beat him. In my head, I know that. It just doesn't stop the pit in your stomach. You're both safe. That's all that matters. And how about Zach? How's he? He's dealing. Sometimes good, sometimes not so much. Just give him some time. Yeah. I wish it were that simple. Now I know why I never heard about you rising from the dead. She's taking some time, too. You don't really think you can keep this a secret, do you? Maybe just long enough to give me some time to disappear with my son. Well, if you decide to bail, I won't tell anyone. Thank you. I don't want to see you guys leave, but whatever you do, do it quickly. We will. I'm glad that you made it. You too. And how about Danny? Have you heard from her? I, I talked to her. She's doing much better. Yeah, well, Hawaii will do that for you. <laughs> yeah, she's staying to go to school there. Can't blame her for not wanting to come back. <laughs> At least she survived. So did we. Can't say that for everyone. Kendall. Kendall, you all right? Zach, you are not your father. Nothing you have done in this lifetime has created that monster. And there are ways, there are ways that you can get rid of him. Look, just love and, and, and forgive yourself. Be happy. You, you and your wife, you can have a family and friends. You can have a wonderful life. Sack, sack, darling. You deserve a wonderful life. I don't deserve you. <laughs> well, now, that's different. But, uh, well, you're very easy on the eyes. So I just pass it up. Hmm. I let my wife know. No one expects you to pay for that man's sins. Not even the women who died would ask that from you.
Drink your coffee. Yeah. And I'll take you home. I'm fine. I'm fine, okay? I, I stood up too fast, that's all. If you recall, I had a couple of rough days. All right, you need to get checked out. Did you eat anything today? No, I left without breakfast. All right, stay right here. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> what? Could be something else, you know. Is it possible count back? I, I can count. It is, isn't it? I'm just, I, you know what? I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted, that's yeah. all. And that goes away in a few months. You're funny. You're very funny. Now, you have a major decision to no. make. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Well, decide fast. Where do I sign this thing? Please read it thoroughly first. I want to make sure this statement is absolutely correct. And I'm sorry to have to make you go through all this again. Anything to get it behind us? Well, the sooner the DA has this, the sooner we can start proceeding, so. Don't worry about it. I cannot let Kendall go. If you're to learn your lesson, it has to cost you as much as it has cost me. Oh my goodness, what is that I see? Are you wearing your breakfast? Is that what you're doing? You saving it for later there? Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. No, that's okay, no worries, I got it. Can I take an hour or so? I have a couple of errands. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Take all the time you need. The big man and I, we have some very important business, <laughs> don't we? I know, we do. <laughs> Nothing. What do you think, Spikey? Mama's got a magic wand. Almost ready. Hmm. So what do you think? You think Mama's wand will have some magic in it, huh? Oh, who am I kidding? You'd chew on this thing if I'd let you. Okay, baby doll. You think you'd like to have a little brother or a little sister? I see you signed your statements later. You're, you're free to go. You will never be free. How in the world, in the middle of all of that craziness, did your stepdad and I do this? Hello. Hello. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? what? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Oh my god! A baby. Thanks. A baby. I'm having another baby. That's amazing. I didn't even know that you and Zach were even trying. Well, we weren't exactly. It just kind of happened. And when the stick turned blue or, <laughs> I don't know, the plus sign appeared? Joy. Pure and utter oh. joy. And, and, and honestly, I know, isn't it exciting? This is, this is probably, the, the timing couldn't be better, right? I mean, we've had so much death around us, and now we're, we're finally getting a new life. It's like God's gift for all of us. I'm so happy you're happy. Mm. Is Zach happy? 
He doesn't know yet. It's over. You're over. You have nothing left. No money, no power, not even a name. You're the property of the state now. My condolences. All right. Let's go. I never turned my back on my family, never ran from my duty. Play hero all you want, I know who you really are. A weak, selfish coward so easily brought to his knees. Keep talking, old man, no one's listening. You're a disgrace. You failed your father, your brother, your own son. You failed everyone who's ever loved you. And one day, you'll fail Kendall, too. You know what, man? It's not gonna work anymore. You can't guilt me into submission. I know the difference between control and love because I have real love. And I know what guilty looks like. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. I'm planning my future. I'm gonna honor my mom. Make sure everyone knows what a beautiful woman she was. And you? You're already gone. You can't do anything to me or to Kendall ever again. We'll see. Do you think Zach's ready to be a father now? Well, a few days ago, I don't think it would have been good news. But now he has the chance to put his past behind him. Zach told me that his biggest regret was never having the chance to know his own child. So, this is his second chance. I hate to sound like mom, but this really is a day for new beginnings. Should I, should I change? What, what, what should I wear? What is the appropriate attire to tell your husband that there's a bun in the oven? <laughs> <laughs> um, what, should, maybe sexy or, or casual? Oh. Or jeans or a dress? I don't, I don't know. Pink or blue? <sighs> I don't care what we're having. As long as it is wonderful for my spiky, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, you are gonna be the best big brother in the whole world. It's gonna be so much fun for you. You're gonna have a little pal to conspire against us adults. Yes, you are. Did you know that your Aunt Bianca is my sister? You know what sisters do? Oh, they laugh for hours about the silliest things in the whole wide world. And they sense each other's needs without ever saying a word. Yeah. You know, your little brother or sister or Whatever would be there for you, to watch over you, and protect you, and will always, always love you. <sighs> I know. I'm so lucky to have someone so precious in my life. And I can't wait for you to have that too. <laughs> and I can't wait to tell Miranda she's gonna have a new cousin. Oh, I, yeah. I assume that. Oh, sweetheart. I assume Mom's still in the dark about this. Oh, uh, yeah. And. Josh, does he know? Um, here you go, honey. Not yet, but uh, he's, he's planning a trip, so remind me to tell him. Uh, okay, I will, but you practically tackled me when I walked through the door. I don't think you're gonna be able to keep this under wraps for very long. I have a feeling Zach will... Hi. <laughs> hey, yourself. All right, um, uh -huh. you guys have a, a great night. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, uh, you look gorgeous. And you're all smiley. What's going on here? Have a cigar. I'm gonna enjoy this little cigar later. Yes, we have a lot to celebrate. Oh, we do. Mm -hmm. I just saw my dad at the jail in an orange jumpsuit. Now, well, he's not a real father. Mm -hmm. He tried the cambious wrath thing on me and didn't work. Yay! Oh, no. ah! Okay, oh, honey, put me down. Wait, wait, no, no, stop, stop. I don't want to, I don't want to just strain your back. Strain my back? Yes, yes. Do I feel heavier to you? No, you don't. Where's the champagne? I don't think I should have that. I think I should Where stick with well, orange juice. celebrate juice. my family, my freedom. Yes, yes, to your family and growth and expansion. Okay, what's going on? You're smiley, now you're twinkly. What are you doing? 
I want a bigger house. Come here. Uh, yes? Uh, you tell me. I will buy you any house you want. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So, basically what you're saying is, whatever I'm expecting, you'll deliver? Yeah. You want a townhouse in the city, you can have that, or a, a large spread in the country with no one around, you can have that too. Oh, well, I may need a grocery store around me. What if I get cravings? Because you do so much shopping. Come on, you don't have to worry about that. We're going to have tomato fields, and we're going to have lobster <laughs> trees and sandwiches. Hey, no. Hey, and... don't you, don't, yeah. Don't you want to know why I want a bigger place? Sure. Okay. I'll tell you. Oh. Hold that thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Noah. Sign, please. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Don't believe it. Okay, let's see this. The transfer of properties and any and all interest therein. Your father is giving you Cambia's industry. The only thing I want from him is a real death certificate. That's all. Okay, oh. hey, honey. Hey, Rachel. Um, can you please look after Spike? We'll be back as soon as we can. Take your company to hell with you. This craziness was over. What are you trying to do? Piss me off more? I want to do right by my son. You can't escape heredity. They know. Shut up. You couldn't control me when I was 18. I'm not going to let you do it now. You have no hold on me. <laughs> I might believe that if you didn't have to announce it so frequently. And you're here. I'm here to give you this and to tell you what you can do with it. All the sweat and care you took with Canvas Industries, only to see it rejected and spurned like that. Sad. Very sad. We're on the same page. Definitely. Both so selfish, set on ruining so many lives. Did they give you a vote? I didn't need one. How old-fashioned. The devoted little woman. Zach yeah. and I are equal business partners. I'm with him all the way on this. And with Ryan, too. Yes. Yes, they're both right. Oh, what a smug, cozy threesome. All right, let's, this is, I've had enough. Let's go home to Spike. Please. Yes, yes, the three of you run home to your boy. Hey. Stop. The interview is over. You say you love Kendall, but if you reject my legacy, you'll wipe her out. You threaten my wife again, and I will kill you. It's that simple. Zach, Zach, don't, Let please. Let him go, Zach. Let him go. <sighs> Cannabis Industries owns enough shares in Fusion to cost your wife her dear little playground. You and your dear departed friends worked so hard to establish Fusion, didn't you? Fusion will survive. <laughs> yes. How long? Let's see. After all the recent tragedies, who actually owns shares? Me, of course, and you. Your sister Bianca owns quite a few because your niece, Miranda, inherited them through my will, but all those revert to me. Whatever. Yeah, you do what you have to do, Alex. And the Miranda Center, who will fund that? Human beings with human hearts. Right, let's go. Then I'll have to resort to my alternative plans for campus industries, and you better hear it, son, before you make your final decision. I would have preferred you rising to the occasion and assuming the leadership of Canvas Industries, but if that cannot be... No one in this room wants your business. Give it to someone else. Give it to a charity. Exactly my intent. A charity of my own making, to honor my other son. The son who at least wanted to please me. Michael. I think you mean the son that was a rapist, Michael. I will sell every bit of 
Cambius Industries liquidate every asset to endow the Michael Cambius Foundation. A foundation for a rapist? Exactly. Rapists, pedophiles, murderers, especially serial murderers. And your mission would be what? To afford the best defense attorneys that money can buy. Yeah, well, money can't buy justice, Alex. Oh! The loopholes will find, the convictions will overturn on appeal. <laughs> Won't that be something? A foundation devoted to releasing vicious criminals back onto the street. A startling concept whose time has come. Unless you, Alex, have a better idea for Cambius. It's up to you. What legacy you want to leave to your son? Michael's? Or one of your own making? It's a special place in hell for you. Ryan. Perhaps you can use some of your influence over Zack. My old man, he was very sick. And he was dangerous and he was crazy, but compared to you, Alex, he was an amateur. Is that a compliment? Well, Alex, you've lost your power, haven't you? You have, so whatever sick hold you and my father had over us, it's gone now. Zach and I survived. So whatever he decides, you're still gonna be that twisted psychopath, Alex. Only now, you're gonna be the one that's slowly dying in a cage.